Madden NFL 24, and we'll play host to a battle between conferences. It's the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs on EA Sports. It is a beautiful night for football here in the Midwest as we are at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But CD, this Chiefs club, you'd have to imagine, well positioned to make a run at repeating as Super Bowl champions. But it all starts and ends with number 15, and that, of course, the reigning league MVP, Patrick Mahomes. And it's not just his talent, as you know, partner, because we've seen that on display. It's his leadership and the trust that the organization has in him to help bring along an offense and turn it into one of the league's best. Well, meanwhile, for the visiting Lions, they're going to be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Hello. They run with the second-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay. I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice play on the football. And while it was tipped in the air and made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground, you just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play. Nerves come into play. And despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. Oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. Oh, it is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Lions will take over. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late and season number eight now out of Cal it's Jared Goff. Rumors of Goff demise greatly exaggerated it seems. Boy what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdown and led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he gets it up past the 35. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. On first down, it's gone. Going deep for Montgomery, and that is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On second down, here's Goff. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator. He's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Some back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw is gone. Going deep for Montgomery. And this is caught inside the five. And in for the Lions touchdown. David Montgomery, 64 yards. And the Lions are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. 
Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that <laughs> at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us to rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guy's a little I bit jumpy. Uh, you do. Oh, you, you <laughs> understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this one is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. Look at the big fella go. And down to the 27-yard line. Mahomes finding his tight end, Kelsey, for a big one. 47 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Going for it all. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Headed straight. It's Pacheco. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing is Mahomes on third. That's going to be caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. you got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm there, and he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from drawing level. 
So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one yard line and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target and we are tied at seven. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now it's gone. He's got it complete to Gibbs. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in the open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Here's gone. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by LeJarrius Sneed. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field. And a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Now, now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie. And they start first and 10. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. Fights through it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it. And that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. Tackle by Emmanuel Mosley. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not have to block more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. They go play fake. Mahomes. Yeah, he's got it. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Here's Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Butker on for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. 
And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Detroit's offense ready to take over. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he is going to have a Lions first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Great move by Montgomery. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and eight. Goff now looking to throw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. And they've used him in the passing game to great effect so far. And here they get it to him again on the screen, and it turns into a nice positive play. Goff wants to throw on third and one. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there. And now it's fourth down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they wind up getting four there on fourth and one. Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did you see the quarterback just point to the sideline and say, ah, oh, everybody back, I've got this call. Well, you knew this side of the field, they're in plus territory, fourth and one. He wasn't coming off the field. No, he wasn't coming off the field. He wouldn't let the offense go with him at all. He said, we're staying out here and we're picking this one up. That's some leadership right there. Now Goff on first down. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and ten, Goff again. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. Goff throwing again. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So not only do you not get the first down, but you've also made things a lot more difficult on your field goal kicker. Yeah, they're still in range, but you're exactly right because you know the kicker's over there saying, thanks a lot, you just made my job a little tougher because when he kicks it now, he'll kick it lower because he's got to get more distance. That means there's more jeopardy for the ball to get tipped or blocked. 
On fourth down, Goff to the sidelines, and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. Patterson's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. The final adjustments taking place here for both of these squads. They're about ready for the second half in Kansas City. And for the Colts, we rejoin Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter at number three. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Golf. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure to give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Give him three yards there on the first down pickup. A lot depending on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I had the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. To throw on second down is gone. Man open here is Jones. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. A shotgun snap for Goff. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Montgomery back to the ground. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. 
three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery with his second touchdown of the night. And the Lions have retaken a third quarter lead. They go I formation, fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost art, isn't it? It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you gain an advantage, and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now 17-14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now Isaiah Pacheco going to bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Mahomes to throw on second down. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Mahomes now on first down. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Aleem McNeil, what an effort to get in there and drop him. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Mahomes now to throw. They'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. First target, first catch out of first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a goal and touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Toss right side to Pacheco. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the back. Backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. 22 yards there, a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's caught left side by the tight end Gray. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. I know 
sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll show the defense. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. And again, it's Mahomes. And this one dropped in the end zone. Uh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game. But that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. Butker's kick here is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Now, we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got the two-minute warning to come up. Are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime? No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Goff and this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now a first down throw. Gone. He's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Goff now to throw. That's taken in. Complete to Reynolds. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense down the field. The Arrowhead crowd in full roar. Here's third down. Out route. He finds his man. It's Jones. And he will get out of bounds here as well. What a play. Big yardage. They stop the clock. And they move it to the boundary of field goal range as well. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, and hey, he's going to make a play for me. I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Back to Montgomery on second down. And a short game down to about the 33. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Big play looming here. This is third and seven with a crowd on their feet. And he will lose. 
Huge yardage back to the 34-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Patterson's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down 20 to 17, a little over 50 seconds remaining. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Here's Mahomes. Finding Kelsey. spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter doesn't it it certainly does and in the second quarter he may very well run by him but in this situation i know as a defender i'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride mahomes and this one incomplete so the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This definitely four-down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Yellow. This offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. down but this one winds up to be incomplete and yeah, their backs up against the wall a little bit and they come through by forcing an incompletion now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage Mahomes will throw and this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left Maybe some temptation here to try to go for the win, but I think you got to kick the field goal. I agree totally. When you look at the time left on the clock, that's not a spot where you take the gamble. Go ahead and kick the field goal here and take it from there. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So on fourth down, the home's off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. With three seconds to go, if it's good, we're off to overtime. And his kick is indeed good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game.
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles, because <laughs> my palms sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third oh, no. drive of overtime. And as we know from here on out, any points win this football game. I'll throw you a towel as well, partner. I've got one for myself, but let's face it. Our nerves, our pressure, nothing compared to what's going on on that field. Both of the field goal kickers active here Sunday, early. Sunday, Can Sunday, one of them Sunday. become the hero and end this thing? On play action, it's Mahomes. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Inside the 20. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown. And the game winner in OT. Well, you never know what you're going to expect when you come to the stadium to call a game. Sometimes you get good ones. Sometimes you get bad ones. Sometimes you get great ones. And that's what he had here. What an exciting finish on that last big play. adjustment to what you've worked out all the way through is going to give you the play we saw to win the game. I know everyone's thinking that that was something that they just drew up. It might have been something they've been working on, and now they got the right matchup. Extra point by Butker is on target, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. And Detroit getting set to go now. Last time I remember their drive stall, but thanks to their kicker, but with a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kick that can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. First throw in overtime for goal. And he's taken down. The Chiefs sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now Goff with his first throw in OT. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. One thing you have to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Golf. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And this defense definitely had his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That's a good 10 feet over everyone's head. A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Another one in the books for his partner. Always great to be by your side. And look, both offenses, both defenses had some moments in this one. But I think you would agree these coaching staffs are also going to have some stuff to clean up on Phil. Absolutely, partner. And let's face it, any game we get to watch from up here, it's going to be a blast. Do we want to get a real job? Absolutely not. Let's keep watching the NFL all season long. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs.